Hey, it's Chris from Specular. We're here today to talk about some straight from Shenzhen lenses, these new Saru anamorphic lenses. We just got uh, this 24 millimeter 2.8 anamorphic in. I actually got it in two flavors, the same ones. And we're gonna do a quick unboxing and check them out. We got E mount and EF mount, and we can adapt it to work with the micro four thirds, even though these two lenses are our native micro four thirds lenses. So we'll do a quick unboxing and check it out. Each of these, I've been excited to open them with the vacuum seal when they come. So they're kind of fun. All right, there you go. It's the Saru 24 millimeter. Super wide for anamorphic, so that's pretty cool. And we're gonna do a quick test and check and see. I don't think it's gonna cover full frame on the A7 pot to center crop the lens, but we're gonna find out um, and test it real fast. We'll also put it on a uh, Canon camera, just for the hell of it, see what it looks like. So it might be a cool lens. I was hoping it works really well with the C300 Mark II because that would be so cool to shoot with such a great camera with some fun low cost anamorphics because these lenses are actually really nice. The design on them, the build is pretty good. Um, and they're small and they're lightweight. They kind of remind me of the Kawas, which are lightweight anamorphics from Japan. The one downfall with these lenses that I've found so far is that the, the focus is very small to throw on it. You don't get the 0.08 pitch for pulling focus um, unless you add these adapters. Here's the second one. It's open, I already took the plastic off, but not my favorite part, this fun seal. So I might as well do the second one on camera too. So this one is the EF mount, EFM mount. So, and then this one is the E mount. We're gonna take the E mount one, and just throw it on this A7S II and check it really, really fast to see how much it actually covers on the lens. I think it is a little bit longer than these other ones. So you can see, yeah, it's definitely a bigger build. I mean, it's a wider lens, so you need that anyway for a wider lens, but Let's check and see how this looks. So at full frame, you can see that there, you can see the circle of the lens. So we definitely have to crop in. I'm gonna check and see if there's a 4.3 mode on this camera, which I don't know. So the HD 16 by nine, it does work. So the 133 crop factor works well within the 16 by nine frame to give you a 235 aspect ratio. Basically what happens is the image is slightly squeezed. A7 is HG only. That's a bit of a disappointment. That means you're gonna to wanna to shoot primarily with a GH5 to get that 4K or with the wonderful black magic. So, okay. So this is the 35 millimeter, which is really nice. It's a native MFT lens. We're gonna switch it up for the one we just got, which is the 24. Now we have to put this adapter on here, which this one is a speed booster adapter, which makes the lens wider. So it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how that works with this lens. So this is the, the EF mount version, EFM mount which defines it as different because it has the locating pin. Uh -oh. All right, every day is a learning day. Even though I've been doing this for more than 20 years, I don't know how, what I'm doing about the lens mounts. So I ordered an EFM mount, which in my mind was the EF mount that just only fits um, cameras that are not full frame. So it fits EF mount, but it doesn't show the full frame, just kind of like the E mount ones move on there. But when I go to put it on the EF adapter, it doesn't work. It's too small of a lens. So I guess M means micro, 
So don't buy this if you think you're gonna put it on EF mount. That's a mistake. The other lenses, when we bought them, they actually have adapters to go to EF, which is interesting. Um, so we're gonna test just the Sony, for this version. I'm gonna return this and I'm gonna get the Micro Four Thirds mount so that we can properly use it with the 4K cameras and have a set of three lenses that are all 100% matched. And uh, stay tuned for that. But we'll go shoot some shots with this, look at it on the uh, Sony A7S II and uh, check out the footage. Thanks for watching the video. We're gonna check out Saru's return policy to see how the lens goes. And if you want, come check out our new space. We've got a big, huge studio space, tons of prep area, lots of offices. It's a cool space and we got tons of gear for you to check out. <laughs>